Hi, welcome to my engine, the new engine Yoda 4.1 on Arch Labs. We're gonna make and we're gonna see how Linux Mint looks. 18.2 cinnamon. We've set it all up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it and see if the Savvy and the Surfer icons are okay. If I should do something there, should develop some icons for the new release. There we are. Let's install Linux Mint. Also very useful, very easy installer. So easy. Uh, my advice is use this one, guys. Erase disk and install Linux Mint. I read on the forum people who make their lives very complex by making it themselves and using LVMs and all that. That's all fine and good, but leave it up to the specialists and to, or, or to the people who want to learn as well, of course. But just if you just want a working machine in about three minutes, then just do it the way I do it. And then everything will be just dandy in a few minutes time. So in the meantime, let's have a look. Let's see, we have the menu. Nothing changed here. We have here then the main system settings menu. There are no extra icons that uh, or, or sections that have been created or something like that. There are some minor differences, but no new buttons. That's what I mean. Huh? Uh, we're gonna have a look in that later on. Oops, not my intention. I want to press here. Almost finished copying files. Ain't that fast? So. What else? Menu is still looking the same. Those are the programs that are provided. And they are all okay. There is one uh, program that's new. I've already had a look prior to this uh, film here. And where was it again? The login window or the light DM window is the one that's going to be uh, created for the Sardi and the Surfing icons. So it's just one I can have to fix for them. But in the meaning, meantime, I'm installing the language package here. So that's fine. Driver manager. Okay, let's wait till this is downloaded and let's make it a bit smaller if we can. Uh, oh, was a bit shaky. So let's take a look at Arch Labs in the meantime. So what are we working on? We are working actually on Arch Linux. So this is Arch Labs and it's a mixture of Bunsen Labs and Arch Linux together and in the meantime over a few months time it got its own look its own spirit its own soul and uh, evaluate ev evolved that's a better word evolved into something yeah new that did not exist yet so a lot of things can can be changed in here we have a lot of icons we can check out here we have a lot of themes, arc themes. And why do I show them? This is a tutorial about Linux Mint. Well, for Linux Mint, I just made the same thing. I made also arc themes like those, but then appropriate for Linux for Linux Mint, yes. And I also made these Sardi icons. And the icons on Sardi and Surfen, well, they are distro independent. So they should be working as well on any distro, whatever distro. Let's have a look. And here, optical drive is now empty, no more an ISO. So it's going to reboot. So icons, Sardi and Surfer, and Arc theme and Mint YT. Those are the things we have to, we have to know that that's me who's creating those things. And I want to check out 
if they still work on Linux Mint 18.2, basically. Okay, how do we do this? Let's go to the GitHub. My name is Eric Dubois. French name, can't help that. And then we have here the repositories. Ultimate Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon. Let's clone this thing. How do you do this? With, let's create a folder. There must be order open in the terminal. We're first gonna install a program called Git. You might have heard the Linux Torvalds talk about it. So it's uh, a way to cooperate over the, the globe, actually. Everybody working on the kernel at the same time. So we're gonna git install git, and then we can get anything from GitHub with this command, git clone, and then control shift V, and I'm gonna copy paste the URL inside. And what do you have? The exact copy of what's on GitHub. So we're going to use this one to make and to test our system. Okay, first up, let's install the study icons. Let's first see if the name is correct. No, nope. name is not correct. So icons, these are all the icons. I'm going to install only the uh, study version 3. Why? Because study extra is our personal experiments. Sardi is an SVG file, meaning it's a text file. It's, it's, you can edit it and change the numbers and stuff like that. So you can also change the colors. Sardi is filled with scripts to change colors. So what I've done is test the scripts, make new icon theme and put it in extra. So you'll see that there are kind of lots of, of um, icons there. We, one time we had this Tron wallpaper coming up and then I took the color from Tron and I made Sardi icons, Sardi Tron icons from it. So it's that easy, it's one command, 10 seconds later you have new icons with another color. Those are the Sardi extras. So this is the original one coming from SourceForge. This is the basis. You need this one. Icons Sardi done. Okay, fine, let's have a look. How do we get there? Well, best thing actually is to, well, let me do something first. Otherwise we'll get uh, questions later. Well, that's one thing I'd like to do about this one. And then Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon. What are you working on? That's a question we often get. Not anymore. Beta. Okay. So that's that. And then, um, so, the theming. Theming is, where is it again? Let's have a look. I take this one and I put it up here. So I don't need to go look for it. And now we have these Sardi icons. Let's go for, what I always do is go for the Sardi Mono or the Sardi Mono Arch Labs. One of those, as long as it's Mono, why? Check it out. Why do I do this? If you go to File System, all the icons, all the applications that you have are in User Share Applications. Maximize, take a look. One icon is out of place. This one, that one, that one we can fix. But this one we cannot fix. Why am I talking about fixing? Back to the data folder. Yep, come on. Here we have pop, pop, pop. Here, here, here we have an icon where we can, uh, an, not an icon, an, well, it's an icon, a program, an application. So we can um, run this one, the hard code fixer. If we run the hard code fixer, check what happens to the other side. Let's take the ones that do change. So this one will not change, but these three will change. And it's going to get information from the net and it's gonna run a script 
and this script is gonna check these applications up here and change it to the something correctly. I explained this in other tutorials. These are hard coded icons that now have been simply fixed with this little program, little application. So like I said, this one is gonna be needs to be fixed. We need to make actually an, um, a new icon for it. So next update of Sari and Surfen, it will be included. Talking about Surfen, where is Surfen? Surfen installation is here. I can Surfen install it one as well. So that's how I do my checkups from uh, the latest distros. If one distro comes out, I'll install it on SSD normally, but now I have done it in VirtualBox. So again, go to the themes, change it. The surfer ends with an S, why not take a red one? Completely a red one. And everything is fine, just this one. This login window, it needs to be fixed. Other icons are the normal surfer icons and everything looks the way it should look. You can go over it again and that's how it looks. And uh, okay, that's number two. Number three is theming. And there are themes, you're playing themes as well. That's not an issue, that's very easy. Don't have to check that, that's always okay. But these two. I close it again, I suppose. Yep, I close it again. So what we're now gonna look for, I do like the Mint White Dark, and the Mint White Dark, and the Mint White Dark. But we're not what we're gonna look for now is other themes. So keep in mind this was everything we had. And now we're gonna install more. Open in terminal. Oops. Theme arc color. Okay, first arc themes. Arc themes are installed. Let's have a look. Are the arc themes installed? Oh yes. So crimson is um, red red. Softer red, Evo Pop is an icon theme, color from Evo Pop, uh, more pinkish, love icon theme, majestic grey, orange, polo, bluish, takao, orange, smoke, greyish, violet, Latuzi, uh, different kind of blue. Um, it's a long time I've, I've taken that one. So I'm gonna take Arc Dark Guatuzzi. Of course, I have to take then as well something similar to the color. You see the color coming here. So we're gonna take something blue, 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 blue. Surf and love, why not, maybe. A lot of icons, surf and flat, if you like that blue or that blue. All good for me. You choose, and then Arc Dark Watuzi is here. So that this one is as well, nicely. Okay, so we've chosen for the go for Arc Dark Watuzi, and as you can see, everything works and everything looks okay. All elements work. Every element is working. This is my own theme. This is virtual box theme. <laughs> Don't be misled. Okay, so that's that. That's it. That's working. How about theme mint y colora? What's that then? That's based on the theme mint y, but there's an accent. So the R colora, I didn't tell you that. But there's a GitHub on uh, on my, my Air Dubois GitHub. And there's an Arc Colora GitHub where we change with the scripts the color that's blue in Arc Colora, as in Arc theme, I mean, to any color you want. There are 16 million colors. So you just pop in an hexadecimal code and you have a new color theme. That's as easy as that. I have made a few to follow my icon theme, Savvy and Surf. But you can make, uh, well, let's say 16 million more. So the same applies for mint y themes. I've made also a kind of script there that changes the mint y colora theme as well. So let's have a look. This time no arc, this time we scroll down and here the mint starts. So red, 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 redder, evil pop, frolly, majestic, you know how it goes. Let's maybe take the same, the Watuzi as well. So you see what's well, 
what's different, what's the same. Wow, this is the white version. My apologies for my eyes. Um, darker is not the one. I need the dark one to see. Oh, I was bad when you waste time like that on a tutorial. Okay, and then down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it is. So this is mint white, dark black look with this blue uh, shine. And you can take, for instance, as well this as a possibility. And now everything is blue. All but one. So this is one we really need to fix. And then everything looks right in order. Ah, yeah. Maybe a good thing. Oh, not that one. Maybe a good thing always to also go to that one. And you see everything here as well is just looking dandy. So that's that. For me, this is the end. Of course, there's more to install. This is just a testing for two or well, four things. Sadly, OK, one icon, surfing, OK, one icon. And the theme still working. And the Ara Colora and the Mint White Colora collection are still working just fine in the new Linux Mint 8.2. Enjoy!